Are you excited for the holidays? Or do you feel overwhelmed at the thought of doing all the things? Does it feel hard to slow down during this time of year? Perhaps even impossible? What if I told you this year could be different? This time of year can bring up so many different emotions and it can be really easy to feel frazzled and frenzied. I'm excited to share a particular way to shift your experience from overwhelm into opportunity this holiday season. And speaking of excited, I received a five-star review entitled exactly that, excited from AKA JK. It says, excited to hear more from this messy mama, excited to find myself. Thank you so much for your review. This episode will help you get excited about creating space in your days and margin for the moments that matter most. I appreciate you and I encourage everyone. Leave your written Apple review as well. I would love to feature you in a future episode and in our newsletter. Let's transition into this episode where we talk about no being a complete sentence and how to reframe that as you confidently create white space in your routine. Hey, hey, mama. Welcome back to the Treasured Mama podcast. I'm Corey Messer, a Kingdom Life coach and messy mompreneur, and I want to know if you're like me. Have you ever felt like you've lost yourself in all the things? Or perhaps you just need some encouragement on this messy journey of authentic motherhood? In this space, we love sharing routines, rhythms, and real stories of real moms as we declutter our heads, our hearts, and our homes to discover clarity and confidence. If you're ready to gain clarity on who God designed you to be, create simple systems for a more peaceful household, and connect with other mamas doing the same, this podcast is right up your alley. My prayer is this episode will encourage you. So grab a drink, take a mommy moment, and listen in to today's goodness. Welcome back to the Treasured Mama podcast. Corey here, and I am absolutely excited to be talking to you about white space. What does this mean? How do we use it? And why is it applicable? to you. So let's get started. We are in a place right now where we are preparing for gift giving season. We are preparing for holiday celebrations. We are preparing where there is a lot of opportunity for extra, extra commitments, extra preparations, extra spending. And one of the things I hear from moms so often is how do I enjoy the delight of this season versus being overwhelmed by all of the commitments? In other words, the way moms typically say it is, I just want to enjoy Christmas without being frenzied and frazzled and feeling like my finances are a total wreck. Can you relate to that? I find for many moms, we have a great desire to do the holidays different. We may even go so far as to set intentions or goals around what this can look like. However, the implementation piece becomes a little bit of a challenge. So one part that you can implement immediately is something I call white space. Let me give you a little context before we dive into the application on this. If you look at a piece of paper and you have a whole bunch of writing on there, what do you notice first? Generally, it's how much writing. And you may even look at that piece of paper and decide it's too much. I'm overwhelmed and you walk away and you never address it. However, if you have the same amount of writing, but it is spaced out over, let's say, five sheets of paper, you'll have more white space. You'll have more of the paper that is visible because you have less writing per paper. Now stick with me here. Why is this important and why does it matter? Because our brain sees things and then it decides in that moment if we have capacity and energy to process it or not. And if our brain decides that we don't have capacity or energy to process it, it tries to save us from an unsafe experience. And this is where we tend to partner with avoiding things, procrastinating, being distracted by something that is easier or a quicker win. And we never advance in this area of our life. 
just like website design. There is a certain way when you are looking at a website as a user that your experience happens. We tend for many people to look from left to right and then there's a whole process by which we tend to look at things and we decide if we're going to purchase or click or click out of that particular website. I give you those examples because I know some of you are very familiar with online. You might be in business, but also some of you may be very familiar with the old school written to-do list. And because I want to honor and respect how each of us are designed differently, I wanted to offer those examples. So there's some context. If we see something that is overwhelming to us, it is hyper-stimulating, we may avoid it altogether, and that never helps us advance further in that area of our life. When we are coming into a situation that is Christmas and Thanksgiving and holidays and commitments, and we have this desire to very much enjoy them and delight in the opportunities that we have versus being overwhelmed and feeling frenzied, we have to have a plan in place. I would go so far as to say we get to have a plan in place. And today I'm going to give you one starting point that you can start marinating on. You can start thinking about, plant those seeds, how this holiday season can be different for you and can be absolutely blessed. A little behind the scenes, I have had a cold for a little while now. I've tried to record this episode three times and I haven't been able to finish it because of my voice. So I was talking to God and kept hearing white space, white space, which is something that I do plan into my schedule now, but it hasn't always been that way. So I actually did that with this specific recording. I scheduled in some white space so I could rest my voice so I could get this out to you. So what does it look like? White space, just like having space on a website or space on a piece of paper, white space is having intentional time periods where you have margin, meaning you don't have any commitments in there. It gives you some wiggle room is another way to think about it. You've heard me talk about time blocks before, where we group certain things into different blocks of time throughout our day. Maybe it's our morning routine or our work block or our evening routine or our after school block, whatever that looks like for you. But instead of having every single minute scheduled out, we actually have white space scheduled in. And this is going to require you saying no to certain things. This is going to require you having a clearer understanding on what your actual priorities are. In the season of Christmas, if my priorities are connecting with people relationally, then I may go do more of those social gatherings and I may say no to some of the extra things for myself planning my year extensively, taking a week away to journal and reflect and all of this sort of stuff. However, if my primary goal for the season is to rest and recover a bit, then I may politely decline some of those social gatherings so I can create white space. White space serves two primary reasons and this is why it's applicable to you. The first thing that white space does is it gives you margin for error. It gives you space to accommodate for the unexpected. It provides for you peace of mind that you have some wiggle room. And just by the nature of that, we become less stressed and we are able to embrace and walk in more peace, which actually is our portion. The other thing that it does is it helps you shift into this space of knowing your value and having some of those identity conversations around, am I worthy of this? Because it's generally not about the surface level thing of the margin or the white space. I know you are a giver. You are generous with your time and sometimes at the expense of your own well-being. And this year, this season, I want this to be different for you. And the way that you're going to do that 
is know that you are deserving of having some white space in your schedule, creating margin for the unplanned. So you can show up and have more ease in your life, experience more peace in your home, and delight in those truly joyful moments that are available to you now and always. But often we overlook because we are so busy preparing for the next thing because we have no white space or margin in between. And the second thing uh, that I really want to highlight in this area of identity is this overflows into so many areas of our life. So if we can create this margin that gives us more space and allows us to operate from a position of peace, but also helps us develop in this area of knowing our true identity and worth, this will begin to overflow into all areas of our life. I encourage you, apply that in this season. This is being released in the month of November. Go through your December schedule, calendar, planner, whatever that looks like, and see where you can schedule consistent white space. This may be very challenging for some of you. Start small and be consistent, and then you can build upon that. Maybe it's allowing five minutes of transition time in between appointments. Maybe it's getting up five minutes earlier in the morning to breathe and have some quiet time. Maybe it's saying no to one commitment each week so that you have some extra time. And honestly, we get to reframe this. If no is challenging for you, Even though no is a complete sentence and you don't have to explain yourself, if no is quite challenging for you, I want to offer this gift of reframing what a no is. Instead of a no being no to that person or that opportunity, realize that it is preparing you so you can say yes to the thing God has called you to. That is so much better, right? Instead of me saying no to the opportunity of being on the PTO, I can reframe that into a yes, that that time is allowing me to say yes to the quiet time that God has been drawing me into. But I've been partnering with a lie that I, quote, don't have the time, end quote. In summary, this episode is shorter for a reason. We are talking about creating white space, establishing margin, So if you had 20 minutes set aside for this recording and this recording is less than 15 minutes, take that extra five minutes and go to the Lord and say, God, what does this white space thing look like for me? How do I get to partner with you in creating more margin in my life? I pray this absolutely blesses you. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this revelation of white space and margin and how it may be the very answer to prayer that we have been petitioning you for. God, I pray that they go to you immediately, right away in immediate obedience, and they receive from you what it is that white space can look like in their life. We thank you for all that you are, Father. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hey mama, one quick thing before you go. If this podcast blessed you in some way, the number one way you can pay it forward is to head over to iTunes, Treasured Mama Podcast, and leave a review and subscribe to the channel. 